Well, back on the Model T, as you can see, the engine is sitting back where it belongs. I uh, put a generator on it that's, I have no idea what it, whether it's good or bad, but I'm hoping that it's going to be a good one. I've got the uh, cutoff, cutout for it. Also, uh, what I had to do to get the engine in with, with the hogshead and the pedals and everything on was to remove the steering column. So, wasn't very difficult to get it out of there, and I have to replace a bushing in the column anyway, so that was kind of a necessity to get that out of there. But with that out of, out of there, I tipped the engine um, kind of up high on the nose, and yeah, I was able to actually clear that the firewall. Not by much, but I got it in there. Now we go inside. Now you can see I got the fourth main in. I've got the drive line all pushed up in there and made a kind of an initial adjustment on the. Clutch with the, the brake handle and everything, and I actually now have a rolling neutral, which I a free neutral, which I didn't have before. No matter what I did, it was dragging. But now I can actually roll a car back and forth and not have any problem. So I do like that. Something is better. Um, as far as getting the drive line back together into the back of the engine. It really was a lot easier than I thought. I just put a, a uh, piece of uh, safety wire and pulled that, the end of the crank up there uh, in line with everything and just made sure that the square part of the drive was lined up and uh, it really just slid right back onto it. So uh, once I got it up there close, then I snipped the wire and just pulled it out. So again, it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Getting the steering wheel out, there's uh, four, two screws, two bolts and nuts on the dashboard and then down in the firewall there's actually uh, four holes there with carriage bolts to get that out and so the steering column is right here and I've got a knock where is it I've got to get, this is for the uh, spark, I've got to get this off the end so I can pull this off of here and replace the bushings in there. I don't know if there's one bushing or two. I hope, hope there's one because that's what I bought. So once I get that off, then I have to repin, put this all back together. So I'm getting real close. I wanted to make the car show today, but it's... Almost, almost 6.30, so that is not going to happen. But I did want to give you an update as far as getting the engine in. I spent pretty much all day getting the pieces back together. Everything uh, tightened up and the way it should be. And then just got this engine in. So that's it. Uh, probably the next picture you see is is uh, you know getting a, a first start on it. So I may or may not include this in this video. I may uh, make a new video. So 
thanks all for watching and uh, I'm telling you that Model T's really are not that easy to work on they're just very forgiving but as far as actually getting in there and getting them getting them going uh, when you really get down to it it's not all that easy but it's interesting and you learn something every time you do it so again thanks for watching and uh, um, hope you'll watch uh, this video um, like it and subscribe and so you'll get to see uh, most of these Model T videos because when winter comes I'm going to be restoring the original engine and uh, probably doing a lot of other things with the car so stay tuned that's all for now.